Hello everyone! I've been creating a few scenes with the procedural content generation framework in Unreal Engine 5.2 and I recently decided that I wanted to create, or at least try to create, an entirely procedural stylized work. The only thing that will not be procedurally generated will be the terrain since the plugin only works on content and not landscape. I didn't feel like trying to create a procedural landscape from scratch as it is a lot of work and I figured I must have wanted to play around the plugin just for fun. So I started creating this new project and I first added a landscape that I shaped a bit just to make it a bit more natural. After that, I started working on the content generation. I'm using custom assets except for some rocks which are part of a marketplace asset that I got. What I want here is to create different biomes where the player can travel to. I started experimenting with splines to generate my content as I think it would match my project better. And as I'm working on the project, there's one thing that really concerns me here, it's the performance. The first thing I did regarding performance was to improve the collision on my meshes. For the trees, the default collision was slightly complex and was around the whole tree. But you can have a simple collision only around the trunk of the tree. You can even use a box collision in this case making it a very simple and very basic collider that works. I figured that trees don't really need colliders around leaves or branches since the player won't be able to jump on them. This way, it also prevents this behavior. By doing that, I slightly improved my performance by generating less collisions and having very basic ones instead of complex ones. Later on, I added a basic grass mesh to make the scene more alive. The thing is, I really hate this mesh. It's really ugly. And that, that is a custom mesh I made at one point. It's going to stay as a placeholder while I figure out my placement better. This custom mesh also has some issue regarding performance that we'll come back to later in the video. I also improved my PCG graphs to use both the surface sampler node and the spline sampler node to create better biomes and to have more control over them. I have a video on the topic of how to create biomes where I detail the use of these nodes to create different effects and different biomes. Now that I have a basis, I created two biomes and made the PCG graph more interesting. Here's my results so far. I also added some basic textures and landscape materials for the ground, which is just pretty much two basic colors. As I was working on the project, I realized that with PCG plugin, I could improve my project to look more like something I always wanted to create but never did, which is a bunch of floating islands with different biomes. To work on this idea, I started working on creating a border around the terrain. My idea is to have a bunch of rocks in the shape of a circle or something like that that will stop and prevent the player from going overboard. And in terms of performance, I decided to enable Nanite on most of my assets to help with it. This is not something you might want to do though, this is really something you need to think about. Here it works fine with the type of assets that I have. So I want the player to be able to see meshes from far away to really have the feeling that the world is big and doesn't stop after a few meters. But on some assets, using nanites can have the opposite effect of what you want and actually not help with performance. Once I had that, I decided to create a PCG graph for spawning islands in the distance. I applied the same logic as before with rocks on the side. So I have the shape of the bottom of the mountain here and some rocks around spawn in circle. Now, when you're on the main map, you have the illusion that you are on one of the islands because the outside of the island looks exactly like the ones in the sky. Of course, in this scenario, the player can travel directly from one island to another. My idea here is to have a portal on each island that allows you to travel to another island. After having the general shapes for islands, I created two other landscapes with their own biomes. For this one, I created cherry blossom trees and I decided that I actually wanted to have some leaves falling from these ones. So I created a blueprint with a tree and an agar system for the falling leaves. The other biome is a bit more fantastical. I have some blue and purple trees as well as blue and purple textures for the terrain. I have some purple and blue grass as well. I think I'll keep working on this project to make it more diverse and have more things than just rocks, trees and grass. And here's the main result of what I have so far.